Hey, friend, Chris Van Viver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today's video is going to be a quick one. I just want to cover something real quick. I get a lot of emails, and sometimes, you know, I get emails from folks who are like, hey, Chris, I saw one of your videos. I really dug something you were doing. I can't find it in my version of Logic. How do I find it? That's a fair question. We're all dealing with Logic systems in slightly different states of each other. So I just want to tackle this one real quick for you. So if you've ever watched my videos, you probably are familiar with the fact that I love normalized region gain. So if we just bring in an Apple loop of some sort and select that region, go to functions, we now have the ability to normalize region gain. So basically we can set different regions to a specific target level based on an algorithm. I love this feature. In fact, I, a couple of years ago, I submitted to Logic this idea of like, hey, could we have some way to just adjust levels of all the different regions in our projects to a specific level? Now, at the time, I was really into using a VU meter on each track or on my submix. So I was like, hey, can we just have everything normalized to zero VU? Now, I don't know if my particular feedback made an impact, but hey, Logic now has this amazing feature. It's non-destructive. Every time you hear about normalizing being this bad thing, they're talking about destructive normalization. This is a non-destructive process. You can immediately change your gain back. So we set this loudness to negative 30 and then apply. You can see right here, the gain parameter has been adjusted by negative 13. If you hold option and click, you just set it right back. Not a big deal. So many people have seen me talk about this and they're like, that's awesome. How do we do that? This is how you do it. So if you go to Logic Pro 10, you go to preferences and you go to advanced tools, you have a whole selection of advanced tools at your disposal. Now, some of us may be seeing different versions of Logic. So if I turn off Show Advanced Tools, maybe you're looking at something like this, something that looks a little more GarageBand-esque. That's totally cool. I would enable Show Advanced Tools, and then I would just enable all. And we go into Functions. You can see Normalize Region Gain. If I turn off Advanced Editing, go to Functions, we no longer see Normalize Region Gain, and that's because it's an advanced editing tool. So if you're working in surround mixing, if you're working heavily in MIDI, you like to use your control surfaces, you're into scoring, you can see that all of this is here in the advanced tools window. So if you're needing further access to more advanced tools for your needs, this is where they live. So once again, go to Logic Pro 10, Preferences, Advanced Tools, and then I would just enable all and you're done. I hope that was helpful for you. As always, if it was, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules or subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new emails, new posts, new videos to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.